Welcome to Power Code Music. I'm Civil Allen. In this video today, we are going to talk about Gibson guitars, the real play authentic. The whole Gibson hashtag play authentic thing or movement started with a Gibson promotional video that came across as largely negative to most people and it was very misunderstood. I'm a huge fan of Gibson history. This is my Gibson Les Paul and it is a fantastic tool that I use when I need it. But the truth of the matter is, is that Play Authentic initially has nothing to do with what guitar you play, what music you play, and what gear you have. All that stuff is tertiary. So stick with me in this video because this has a lot to do with you and I as, as artists and I'm going to do my best to go through this very quickly. So let's evolve. Let's take this whole play authentic thing a step further. What does it mean? Well it starts with inspiration. Not love. Love has nothing to do with this because love doesn't necessarily make you want to get up and do anything. Well, inspiration generally does. It invokes your best creativity. It makes you generally want to do something, which then can lead to doing something. It also invokes passion. It's that drive to keep you going. It's that fire in your belly that makes you want to keep doing what you're doing. Now, true play authentic attitude and mentality is when you do things your own way, no matter what, no matter what anybody else says, or when no, what, no matter what anybody else thinks, that is truly being authentic and that's important to us as artists. It makes us who we are. When it comes to your authenticity and you are governed by your budget, then I'd like to make a couple suggestions uh, for you to continue to be productive. Be passionate in the, f in the terms and the fact that you are making the music that you want to make. Don't let anybody else tell you that your music is not going to sell or it's not going to apply to the masses. If being true to yourself is important, then just make your music. There's an audience out there that you might be surprised who will love it, you, but you'll never know if you don't do it. Also, when it comes to choosing your instrument, looks can be as important as sound. When you look over and that instrument is so cool and so exciting, it makes you want to grab it and pick it up and start playing, that's awesome. It beats the hell out of an instrument that is just sitting in a case or on a wall that you look at and you go, eh, you know, I'll pick it up later or whatever. You want something that makes you want to come over and grab it. That's very important. Now, if budget is not an issue, you can go two ways. Number one is you can acquire any gear you like and you can compile a junk pile. See, that doesn't work for me because I'm not interested in being on the next uh, episode of Hoarders. But if having a room full or a house full of, of guitars or keyboards or amps or whatever, if that works for you and makes and inspires you to do whatever you need to do, then rock on, you know, get up and do whatever you need to do with that. And, you know, I, I wish you all the best. But you can also go another way with this. Um, you can get exactly what inspires you. You can buy that $4,000 PRS or that $3,500 you know, Gibson Les Paul standard uh, that inspires you and makes you want to play. Whatever works for you, do it. Many artists out there, famous artists, who are under contract must conform. They can't be authentic because their contract doesn't allow it. Um, so they're not authentic and many of those famous artists, popular artists out there hate it. And a, a lot of us look at them and we say, these people are famous. They have everything. They got the house, the car, uh, they're got the fame and the fortune. How can they have a problem? Why are they bitching? What is the issue here? Well, it's because they cannot be who they are. And that's a problem for them. They have to pay their bills they got to eat and they want to have a career. So they have to conform to their contract so this can keep going. Because the bottom line is music is a business ultimately uh, for them and they have to do what they need to do. And if being authentic is not important to you, then you may find yourself in a very similar situation if you are fortunate enough to get to that level. 
So the summary here is for everybody that complains that, oh, you know, this play authentic is, is bull or crazy or whatever, well, here, here's, here's something to keep in mind. If being and playing authentic was so bad, then many of the trailblazing artists that we have come to love, adore, idolize, and emulate over the last 50 to 60 years simply wouldn't be who they are. Think about that. This is why the real play authentic is important for artists like you and for me. If you like this video, please give it the thumbs up. I'd love to hear your comments. Please leave your comments in the comment section below. On the screen right now, click subscribe to become a part of our group and get more videos. And while you're here at the channel, look around at some of the other music videos and let me know what you think. Thank you so much for stopping by and I look forward to seeing you soon.